This week on the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Tournament Series. We'll wrap up the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bass presented by Berkeley before moving on to Russellville, Arkansas and Lake Dardanelle for the 2016 Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Open, a two-day team event that could have a big impact on the Cabela's School of the Year points race. Right, there's a good bag of Lake Dardanelle fish right there, guys. Welcome to Paris Landing State Park in Paris, Tennessee for the first ACA major event of the 2016 season in the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Tournament Series. This is the Cabela's Big Bass Bass presented by Berkeley, a two-day big fish tournament paying out big prizes and double points in the Cabela's School of the Year competition. Again, it's a unique format. They weigh in every two hours. Um, it's all about the, the prizes, so there are, I know, a number of thousands of dollars worth of Cabela's gift cards. There's a number of other sponsors involved. The Big Bass Bash allows anglers to fish individually while still earning team points. This is kind of just a really fun way to start off the season and really just see our potential and what all we can get in there to get weighed in. I don't know what it is, but everybody gets more excited about a, a Big Bass tournament. and Because, you know, you don't have to go out and catch those five fish, you just got to catch one. The Big Bass Bash is a favorite among the collegiate anglers. The format is simple. Catch a fish, weigh it in. If it's one of the 10 biggest in the session, then you get paid. This year, there's more than $30,000 in gear and tackle up for grabs and plenty of chances to win it. Is that really right? I think so. Seven, five, two, new leader of the whole entire tournament. On day two, anglers launched onto Kentucky Lake under overcast conditions with rain threatening, but the collegiate anglers rose to the occasion, adapting to the constantly changing conditions and sacking up some of the best that Kentucky Lake has to offer. Ow, what the heck? I'm trying to keep up with you. for <sighs> you. Back at Paris Landing in Paris, Tennessee, Anglers rolled in and out for much of the day trying to pick up their share of the more than $30,000 in prizes. Now that's one we've been waiting for for a while. The University of Tennessee at Chattanooga's Dylan Filardo stepped to the scales with the biggest fish of the morning. He's a little low. Seven, one, three, new big fish. Dylan won the first session of the day, but it was Ty Cox from Itawamba Community College that stole the show with the biggest fish of the tournament. Looky here, folks. First eight pounder, 835 right there. Man, uh, yesterday, you know, we didn't catch nothing. We went north. Uh, this morning, we went way south, nearly New, right at New Johnsonville. Uh, just picked up a rattle trap and started throwing, uh, and it just worked out. Congratulations to Ty Cox and Itawamba Community College. That's a big win for a small school in its first season competing against some of the toughest anglers in the country on the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Tournament Series. The fishing on Kentucky Lake was fantastic. And next season, the Association of Collegiate Anglers and the Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley will return to Paris, Tennessee in March of 2017. For the complete schedule, please visit collegiatebasschampionship.com. What the Cabela's Collegiate Championship Series does with their tournaments, um, I try to beat every single one for a reason, right? This is the best of the best. The number of anglers they get, the quality of the anglers, the, the quality of the event that's put on is, is second to none. So that, that's exciting. Taking a look at the Cabela's School of the Year point standing, it's a tight race as some of the best collegiate bass clubs in the country vie for the most elusive and prestigious title in collegiate fishing. Winning the Cabela's School of the Year is all about performance and consistency. I think it's also equivalent to I mean, any, kind, any kind of, like, let's say, the top 25 football teams in the country, Division One. I. I think it's very similar as far as standings as that. I feel like if you finish in the top 20 or 30 teams in the country, you're one of the 20 or 30 best bass clubs in the country for that year. That does it for the 2016 Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. Coming up, we'll head to Russellville, Arkansas and kick off day one of the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Open on Lake Dardanelle.
It's in our stomping grounds and our playground. It's in our sights and our commitment. It's in him, it was in them, and it will continue with her. It's in my nature. Is it in yours? Everybody knows somebody that just seems to have things go wrong around him. And for me, it's my good buddy Z when he heads to the water. It's like a black cloud follows this guy around. He runs out of gas, locks his keys in the car, or worse, has a flat tire coming to him from the water. But old Z's a pretty sharp guy. He relies on Boat US in those situations where something goes wrong. Boat US has the finest low-cost boat insurance and the largest fleet of towboats ready to assist you 24-7. Visit BoatUS.com. Engineered to excel, the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series are built for the ultimate ownership experience. It's a commitment to excellence packed with real-world advantages and exclusive features. Experience the accelerated performance standards of the legendary Ranger Z series. From first light to last cast, they're put together to set you apart. Yamaha Outboards, reliability starts here. The ultimate predator has evolved again. Now, Yamaha VMAX SHO Performance is prowling the waters in four hungry, exciting new models. With their four valves per cylinder and double overhead cam fuel injected design, these advanced four stroke predators are taking performance to a whole new level. Vicious, lean, efficient. VMAX SHO, the pack is growing. Some days, the biggest rush of all is feeling really, really small. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you in part by Cabela's, it's in your nature, by Towboat US, Take us with you on the water. And by Ranger Boats. Still building legends one at a time. Welcome back to Russellville, Arkansas. This is day one of the 2016 Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Open. We've got 97 teams on the water, representing 57 college and university campuses from across the country. I like the Cabela's tournaments because it's a change in pace. You know, you've got the big bass tournament, then you have the open where it's a completely different format than just your five fish. I like that it's a team deal and that we can communicate with each other and kind of encourage each other to keep on sticking with the program and not venture off and just face adversity. Each school is represented by two boat teams fishing for three fish per boat. The heaviest six fish total weight per day will be their score. The big challenge this week will be dealing with post-frontal conditions. Recent high winds and cold weather muddied up the shallows and dropped the water temperatures significantly. It was good two weeks ago and then we had a big cold front come in and it dropped the water temperature about 15 degrees on us. So it'll be, it'll be a grind. The, the wind has just been horrendous. <laughs> brutal. <laughs> it's been brutal on everybody's boat, I'm sure. And, um, cold snaps in the past few weeks, high water, it's just ruining. I just hope it's a lot better than what it was today. It was rough out there, uh, wasn't really what we were expecting, but I think uh, tomorrow and Saturday it's going to be a lot better. There's not as much wind as today and the uh, sun's actually going to be out, so I think it'll be a lot better. The University of Alabama comes into this event sitting in third in the overall Cabela's School of the Year standings. As one of the three ACA major events, teams will accrue double points. And with the top five teams separated by less than 50 points, we could see some major changes in the standings. One point, we're number two, but we're, we're there, and we want to defend it, and we would love to keep it that way. We've been, we've been competitive for the past couple of years, finished uh, seventh two years in a row, and uh, number one SEC two years in a row, and we take pride in that, and we, we strive to do better every year, and that's what we want to do. We want to finish at the top this year. 
Mississippi State is one point behind the leaders from Bethel University. But due to schedule conflicts, Bethel is not fishing this event, leaving a clear path for the rest of the field. Getting into tournament coverage, we'll check in with the University of Alabama's Caden Sinclair and Hunter Gibson. I hope, we hope they're biting. We're looking at the uh, water temperature. It's 53. That's pretty close to what it was yesterday. Back here, it'll be about, yesterday it's 57, so we're hoping it's somewhere in that ball game. The sun's already about to be up for us, so as far as hands and all that, it shouldn't be cold, but hopefully the water temperature will get up some. See what happens. We'll check back with Hunter and Caden later. Moving on, we'll catch up with Northern Kentucky University's Christopher Decker and Greg Humphreys. Uh, it's going to be tough because our timber is probably just now dropped to its peak lowest point and it's going to start warming up from here on out and then tomorrow we'll probably be back to the normal temperature of the water or warming back up so the bass will really be starting to feed again normal. I think right now that that cold front after it came through, it's just these bass are just now getting where they're wanting to hunker up against everything as thick as they can get and you got to get your bait as thick as it can get and try not to get stuck and try not to lose baits and try to get some try to get some fish to see your bait is what's tough because you're going to be throwing it in the thickest of thicks. I mean, there might be something we ain't has it or ain't throwing there, but we're going to be throwing as close as we can get to the structure today. We're going to have something to prove, obviously, being being past champions, but, I mean, it's fishing. <laughs> so we're just going to have to go out there and go out there and battle. Got one. Decent fish too. But just just that we need close. <laughs> yeah, he'll push it. Hey Chris, come look at this thing. <laughs> Is it just 14? Look at that. It's just a like not even an eighth of an inch past the 14 mile. <laughs> hey, he'll keep though. Ooh wow. Good fish. When you know it's gonna be a tough morning and you had a tough day yesterday and didn't catch very didn't catch anything yesterday. And it's just a relief to get one in the boat and see your partner hook one. Keep up with the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series on Instagram. You can also find us on Facebook. Give us a like and we'll keep you up to date on the latest in collegiate bass fishing. We'll be right back with more from the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Open. There's two things between an angler and the fish, the sun and the bugs. Sawyer's line of sunscreens and bug sprays keep you focused on the fish. Sawyer's Stay Put Sunscreen Formula bonds with your skin for a more comfortable and better level protection. And Picaridin Insect Repellent will only harm the bugs, never your fishing gear. Also, Sawyer Permethrin repels and kills on contact over 55 species of insects. You're already outdoors. Sawyer keeps you there. Put the cool in life. We put the cool in coolers. Arctic ice.
Bass Angler Magazine brings you more. If you want to learn the latest techniques, win your next bass tournament, or simply catch more bass, then Bass Angler Magazine is for you. From California to Florida, finesse the froggin'. Bass Angler Magazine is jam-packed with how-to information from the world's best pros. Published every season, Bass Angler Magazine is crammed with fresh new articles designed to help anglers of all levels learn more and catch more bass. Sign up at BassAnglerMag.com today. Bass Angler is also available at your local Cabela's. The Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you in part by Yamaha Marine. Reliability starts here. Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. And by Russellville, Arkansas. Welcome back to Russellville, Arkansas and Lake Dardanelle, the host site for the 2016 Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Open. Conditions are clearing after a strong front blew through the region during practice, bringing winds near 40 miles per hour and dropping the water temperatures 10 degrees. Prior to the front, anglers were reporting seeing fish up shallow, but now with the cold, muddy waters, many are left scrambling for a new game plan. We're gonna give it all, give it our all and hope it for the best. I think the water temperature is like 53 right now, and Yesterday when we were getting by, it was around 57. And I think it's going to get a little warmer than 57 today, hopefully. But we'll see. We came here last year and uh, I was with another guy and we zeroed the first day and had 25 pounds the second day. So we hope not to zero to tomorrow, but if it, if it uh, happens that way, Saturday is looking like it's going to be a whole lot better. So you never know, it could happen again. <laughs> Yesterday, see all this is what I was thinking we'd catch them in, and yesterday we got all our bites on the reed stuff, so around here we'll get the reeds to be in a little bit deeper water. I don't know if there's any water up there for them to be in, but uh, right now we're just going to fish this outer edge, and I'm sure this won't be our first time to come through here to, today, so uh, we'll move, make different moves, just different things. Moving on, we'll check in with Missouri State's Hayden Lee and Crossley Welch. Their day's going better than most. We have the boat sitting in about five to nine feet of water on this creek swing here. And what we've been doing is, Crosley's been parallel in the bank and I've been just chucking in front of the boat, getting this square bill in the, into the trough, kind of running the shallow side of the trough and those fish are just sitting right up on the shallow side of the trough. We're just trying to fill our limit at the moment. Get that last fish in here. So I'm getting a little more finesse again and I'll let him just keep cranking away. It's been a tough day and a tough week for most. Up next, we'll check in on the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga's Dylan Filardo and Robbie Moore. So we showed up first thing this morning, we were boat 72, hoping that no one else found it and there was about six boats on it. We were able to catch a nice three and a half pounder, another two and a half pounder this morning. And then uh, we gave it a break, came back, still people fishing it. Um, just caught one over five. It's been, uh, it's oh been goodness. different. You know, it's been 70 degrees here for the last two weeks and the two days that we get to come, it was a 30 degree cold front. So we thought we were gonna be flipping and fishing shallow. And now we're cranking bridges. With weigh-in getting close, our cameras will make one more stop and check in with Oklahoma State University's Brandon Biles and Brady Lobu. Yeah, I'm gonna get off the phone, but you got, I, I don't know, I think you guys need to make a call here pretty quick. Um, I don't think it'd be a bad idea to come here. Two o'clock. Okay, I'll trust you, go for it. Uh, we need bigger fish. Uh, we've got a limit, but our teammates don't. They've got uh, one pushing four, um, but they only have one fish and they need to fill out. Uh, and they're trying to make up their mind whether they're gonna run up or uh, e trade me, or whether or not they're gonna stay where they're at. Well, we caught one early this morning and just right before the sun came over the trees and uh, decided to run down here and Hit some stuff that we caught, caught them last weekend around here, but we didn't catch them in practice, so we weren't sure, but 
we started cranking around uh, some of these transition banks and uh, just a reaction bike off the bottom. And uh, we've managed to catch three keepers here, but uh, so we're just we're just hoping we can stumble across a big one to to kick our weight up a little bit. Stay with us. When we come back, we'll head to day one weigh-in and weigh some fish right here on the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Open from Lake Dardanelle. To learn more about the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series, visit collegiatebasschampionship.com. Let's get down to business. Quiet, you sons of fishes. Now, what? I'm switching sonar. Why? Because now I can see fish swimming live in front of my boat. I, I even see fish attack my lure. Y'all sonar is just history. I'm out. I'm with him. I promise to be ready anytime. I promise to love the sport just as much as you do. I promise to always be flexible. I promise to pull my weight and then some. I am Trilene, and I promise to never give up. Built with innovation, fueled by passion. Berkeley Trilene, America's most trusted fishing line. Gill that I've used for the last five years has been a far superior product than anything else on the market. The main thing that's really important to me is me being dry. I've been wearing Gill suits now for three years and never once have I gotten wet. I talk about Sunline, I think of one word, confidence. Sunline FX2 is what I use for all of my frogging and flipping. SX1 braid, which braid plays a little big part in, uh, in fishing line. Shooter, I'm gonna use in those close quarter deals, like flipping and pitching. One of my favorite techniques in fishing the tournament trail is to fish offshore ledges. We have taken the, the questions out of the equation. Take my word for it. It works, it works, dude. Bella's Collegiate Bass Fishing Series is brought to you in part by Arctic Ice. We put the cool in cooler. By Gil Marine, respect the elements. By Ram Trucks, guts, glory, Ram. And by Powerpole Shallow Water Anchor System. Back at Lake Dardanelle State Park in Russellville, Arkansas, the first wave of anglers are heading to the scales. Despite the challenging conditions, there were several big fish caught on day one, but it was Missouri State University's Crossley Welch and Hayden Lee who wowed the crowd when they stepped on stage with this Lake Dardanelle giant. All right, we'll see if it's gonna eclipse that five pounder. How about that, 708 right there, 708. Step right here in the middle of the podium and hold that one up right here behind the podium in the middle. What'd you catch it on? I can't tell you until tomorrow. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that till tomorrow, are we? All right, did you all run very far to get it? We did. We ran about 30 minutes north, and uh, it paid off. All right, we'll see if y'all can catch another one. Congratulations on that big one. Yes, sir. Looking at the top of the leaderboard in the overall competition, Murray State put themselves in fourth overall with a combined six fish limit of 1564. They've got three. How about a 738, guys? Great bag of fish. We're going to see what they're going to add to it. 
Over 11 pounds will get you in second place. It's a 804, 804. The University of Wisconsin at Plateville cinched third place when Alec Garrison and Aaron Pontillo stepped to the All scales. Right, we got Aaron. He's got three fish to weigh today. All right, Aaron, great job today. 967, 967. The other half of that team, Alec Garrison. Alec just put it in there, bag and all. You got a 967. Great start for you guys for the tournament. You're going to add a 698, 698, 1665 for your team total on day one. I think if we just stick with it, we can probably catch another decent limit and uh, hopefully did, do good. How did today relate to your practice? Well, practice was a lot warmer, so it's a bit different, but later on in the day, it was about the same as practice. Louisiana Tech University came out guns blazing, putting themselves in second overall going into the final day. All right, guys, y'all are looking to post a good number for your team. Good bag of fish, 782, 782. With the first bag weighing 782, Tyler Moses and Elijah Kane stepped up with another limit of quality fish. How about this, folks? Your new leader, 1027, 1809 for a team total. Y'all get up there and hold a, get right here and hold a couple of them up right in the center of the podium there. All right, there's a good bag of late Dardanelle fish right there, guys. It was pretty rough with the vi visibility. We only had probably about four inches vis vis visibility, and uh, so we're just trying to throw bright, bright colors, and um, we uh, managed to get get one good, good. Uh, big fish today and so uh, second third didn't come but hopefully get them tomorrow. The University of North Alabama came into this event in seventh in the Cabela's School of the Year standings. A good showing would bump them up several places. The first bag weighed in at 10.53. They're looking for just under eight pounds to secure the lead here on day one. 10.53 is what they had. We'll see what you've got to go with it. It's not going to take much to take the lead. How about this, folks? 13-18, our first 20-plus pound bag of fish between the teams, 23-71. And with that, the University of North Alabama is in the driver's seat going into the second and final day. They're looking for the win, but even more so, they want those extra points to get them back into the hunt for school of the year. I mean, if we can, if we can really turn out good and get a you know, first or, you know, Top three, get some good points for our school. It'd be real, real good. I mean, that's what we're looking for. So I mean, we really want to win it, but I mean, we're going to try our best. For me and them too, it's our first year on this team. We're just freshmen, so you know, I want to be a part of the uh, Cabell School. Yeah, I want to be number one. I want to, I want to experience that. So this could turn. You go three big. years in a row. I mean, that's that'd, that'd be hard to beat from well, any other well, college. Well, you know, three freshmen coming up. You know, and whooping everybody else. That'd be, you know, it'd be kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> Join us next week for the conclusion of the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Open from Lake Dardanelle. I'd like to also say a special thanks to the Russellville uh, Tourism Commission for having us out. They've done a great job, made us feel so welcome, gave us this great place to come weigh in. Uh, fed barbecue to the guys registering the other night, the anglers all had a great time. So we really do appreciate them for having us out. It's great exposure for the city. You you can see a 30 second ad for it as many times as you want to, but there's nothing like spending a few days in Russellville, and especially if you've got a boat with you and you get to enjoy the lake, um, Mount Nebo, the state parks, and then the crown jewel is Lake Dardanelle in the city of Russellville. Join us next week for the conclusion of the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Open from Lake Dardanelle. This has been a Carico TV production. Thanks for watching.